Here's the Canon setup for this CRT TV video. I'm using the fire extinguisher and solenoid valve cannon with the electronic control on my pedestal mount. It's equipped with the 72 inch long breech loading caliber 565 barrel. At work I got yet another dead CRT TV, this time uh, an Apex brand TV, although they all seem to be made in China anymore, but in any event I've taken the back off this TV and I've also cut the implosion band with my grinder like I normally like to. So this TV is ready to shoot. I was quite happy to be able to get this TV to fire up. Unfortunately, none of the buttons work on it other than power. I can't bring up a menu or anything even remotely interesting. All I can do is show a snow-filled screen. But considering I got this thing soaking wet from being out in the rain and the power cord had been ripped off it, I was glad to be able to just get some snow on the screen and be able to shoot it with the tube fired up and live. The air cannon's coming up to pressure, so I'll pick up the video when I'm ready to shoot in a moment. I'll be firing a 375 grain lead slug at 425 PSI into this uh, barely working television. Well, let's go shoot it. Well, something's still working in this TV. I hear a lot of uh, high voltage hissing and complaining. And there's some uh, smoke issuing forth from the hole I blasted in the screen. Well, the air cannon's coming back up to pressure. I think this TV needs to be left plugged in and it needs to be shot again. Unbelievably, the HV is still going on this TV. It's a couple of discharges that are maybe visible in the video, right where I'm pointing with this piece of wood. It's the occasional HV discharge occurring in orange through a crack in the glass, and you can also see something occasionally happening in the neck of the tube. This TV is still putting out HV from the flyback. I'm going to leave it hissing away and shoot it again. I can't believe that the HV has stayed going all this time, but this TV is still putting out voltage from the flyback. I'm just about at firing pressure of 425 PSI, so let's put another lead slug into this thing. That basically blew the back off the picture tube, but damned if I don't still have stubborn high voltage arcing going on. I've never had a TV continue working uh, 
and putting out HV after it's had even one shot through it. But this one's had two, and I clearly have HV. can see the HV discharge there, kind of blurry, but it's going along the edge of the glass of the CRT. Unbelievably, still have high voltage to this TV, so let's shoot it again. Despite the time it takes me to reload and come back up to pressure, this thing's HV is still not quit. So, I'll shoot it again. Still didn't kill the HV. Look at this thing still arcing away all over the broken glass remains of the picture tube. It won't give up, it won't fault out. I've just been making sure my slugs clear the top of the circuit board, and I haven't managed to sever the flyback wire. Well, let's shoot this again. It's still hissing. The HV's still there. Somehow. Never seen this before. Must be a real cheap TV that can't detect a bad condition on the CRT and stop the high voltage. A lot of TVs will shut down if there's a problem, but this one won't. Incredibly, it's still arcing despite the fact that most of the screen has been blown out and the circuit board's buried in filthy debris. As I zoom in on the yoke that's fallen to the floor with big chunks of CRT glass on it, well, I'm still getting an arc. Unbelievable that I can pretty much completely destroy the TV, and the HV is still working. Here's another little view of the residual arcing that is still occurring. Despite all those shots of caliber 565 lead, 
being blasted through the TV. Every other TV I've ever shot with anything in my life is shut down completely on the first shot. I wonder if my work will throw out any more of these cheesy Apex brand dead TVs. Hopefully. Be fun to see if another one's uh, as tough as this one is. Here's a look at the flyback area. It's still producing voltage, and look at all the uh, the crap and debris all over the TV circuit board. Bits of metal, bits of glass, bits of who knows what. And it's still arcing away like crazy to the point where it's giving off smoke. Incredible. Don't know which is more fun, having shot it or uh, watching it give off these unending arcs out of the debris. I didn't set any of this arcing up uh, in any way. This is just how the TV parts fell from being shot. And unbelievably, that flyback is still putting out full bore. I thought this would be a short and maybe not, you know, the most interesting video I've ever done, but this TV sure changed things. That is a nice, steady, stable flyback arc, uh, obviously with enough uh, power to it to cause uh, smoke. Oh, finally the arc extinguished itself. I guess this thing finally has given up, so I guess that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you're as interested as I was in the strange happenings after shooting this TV several times. Here's the last shot of the board removed from that TV, the board that would not quit.